On the day of Ashura, as the Imam approaches the day of Ashura, it is time for the Salat of Subh. Imam al Hussein goes to Hajjaj. Hajjaj was the Mu'azzin. He was the Mu'azzin in the camp of Aba Abdullah al Hussein. And he goes to Hajjaj and he says to Hajjaj, Oh Hajjaj, today you will not give the Azad. <laughs> today you will not give the Azad. And Hajjaj says, Whatever you say, Ya Mawla. Imam al Hussein says that I would like Ali Akbar today to give the <laughs> He says, I would like Ali Akbar to give the Azad. He comes to Ali Akbar and he says to Ali Akbar, Oh Ali Akbar, I want you to give the Azan today, for today we want to feel and hear the view, the voice of the Holy Prophet. And our boy Ali Akbar comes and he gives the Azan of the Fajr prayers. And he says, Allahu Akbar. When he says, Allahu Akbar, the women folk in the tent strike to wail and cry for Ali Akbar. This is the last azan of Ali Akbar. <laughs> Aba Abdullah al Hussein comes to Janab Zainab and he says to Janab Zainab, Oh Zainab, <laughs> listen to the azan of Ali Akbar, for this is the last azan of Ali Akbar that you will listen. You want to hear the voice of the Prophet, for today you will hear the voice of the Prophet for the last time. <coughs> I don't know what's happening in Madinah, Allah. 
I don't know what's happening in Medina on the day of Ashura. Of Umm Salama, when she looks at that piece of sand, that little vial of sand that the Holy Prophet gave her, and when she looks at that vial of sand, when she looks at it after the time of Asr, she looks at the vial of sand and it has turned red. She comes immediately to Umm Madin and says to Umm Madin, the vial of sand has turned red. My Hussein has been martyred. <laughs> Azadar Hussain from the morning until the time of Asr. He has sometimes run onto the body of Hur and he has tied the handkerchief of Fatima to Zahra on the head of Hur. He has run onto the body of Habib ibn Bazair. Oh Habib, you were my dear and dear friend and you were one of those of Aqih that used to recite the entire Quran in one night. Oh Habib, you are leaving Abba Abdullah al Hussein. He sometimes runs and he brings the body of Aun and Muhammad back to the Khaybada. Zainab looks at the body of Aun and Muhammad. She goes into the sajda, Rabbana takabbal minna. Oh Allah, you have accepted my kurbani. You have accepted my sacrifice. He has run onto the body of Hazrat Qasim. Oh Qasim, this Hussain is very distressed. For when you called out to Hussein. He was not able to get to your body in time. And the hooves of the horses of the enemy trampled your body in such a way that all your bones were broken. He has severed, he has gathered the severed arms of Abu al-Fadl Abbas. He has consolidated the severed arms of Abu al-Fadl Abbas. And then he has gone and he has gone and he has set onto the fields of Karbala. He has taken the body of his 18-year-old Ali Yunil Akbar. He has kept Ali Akbar's hand in his lap. And this is the Imam who has taken out that spear that was pierced in the chest of Ali Yunil Akbar. Imam says, if only people knew how difficult it was for me to take that spear out from the chest of Ali Yunil Akbar. But then the Imam has come. He has taken Ali Yunil Asghar to the Khaim, to the Maidan of Karbala, just to get a few drops of water for Ali Yunil Asghar. But the water has not come. Instead, he has taken the slaughtered neck of Ali Yunil Asghar back to Rabab in Khaybaga. And he has said to Rabab, Rabab, had it not been for the sacrifice of Ali Asghar, then today Islam would not have been saved. Azadarani Hussein. Now Hussein, after doing all of that, he comes to the tent of the women folk, and now he says to the tent of the women folk, Ya Zainabo, wa ya Umme Kulsumo, wa ya Rababo, wa ya Sakina, alaykum in his salam. Hussein has come for his last salam and his last farewell. Azadaro, when the BV, when the women hear the last salam, they start to wail and cry. Janab Zainab comes to Abba Abdullah. She says to Abba Abdullah, I want to see you in my tent. Just before you go to the Maidan, just you go before you go to Maktal, I want to see you in my tent. Imam al Hussein goes into the tent of Janab Zainab. Janab Zainab then says to Imam al Hussein, she says, I want you to lower the shirt from your neck. I want you to lower the piece of cloth from your neck. Imam al lowers the piece of cloth from his neck. Janab Zainab now comes forward. She kisses the neck of Imam al Hussein. And then she looks to towards Medina and she says oh my mother Fatima Zahra your last wasiyat 
was that I kissed the neck of your mom, Abdullah. I kissed the neck of my brother Hussein. I have now fulfilled your will. I have fulfilled your wasi. <laughs> When Janab Zainab does this, Abu Abdullah Hussein says to Janab Zainab, Oh Zainab, I have also one request. What is it, oh my brother Hussein? What is it, oh my brother Abu Abdullah? Now Imam Al Hussein says to Janab Zainab, He says, Oh Janab Zainab, I want you to take your abaya and I want you to move your abaya so that I may be able to kiss you. Arms. Zainab moves her abaya. Abu Abdullah al Hussein kisses the arms of Zainab. And then he looks towards Medina and he says, Oh, Mother Fatima, your last will was for me to kiss the arms of Zainab. For it will be these arms that will be shackled in chains. And she will be dragged from the bazaar of Kufa and to the Dar bar of sham oh mother i have also fulfilled your will ya allah ya allah now abu abdullah and Janab Zainab, they come to visit Imam Sajjad. Imam Sajjad is in his tent. The historians write that the state of Imam Sajjad, he was so sick that he would sometimes go into unconscious state, and then he would wake up for a few moments. Then he would become unconscious again. This Bimar Imam, this ill and sick Imam, was in his Khaymaga. Hussain and Zainab who come to visit Imam Sajjad. Sajjad. The sick Imam is in the tent. Now Abba Abdullah al Hussein says to Imam Sajjad, he says, Oh my son Sajjad, oh my son Ali, it is now for time for me to go into the battlefield and sacrifice myself. I have come to pass on the baton of Imam to you. Imam al Sajjad, he wakes up for the few moments. He looks at his father, Abba Abdullah al Hussein. And he says to his father, Aina, Aina, Habib ibn Masahir. <laughs> Where is Habib ibn Masahir? And Imam al Hussein says, He has been martyred. And he says, Aina, Aina, Zuhair ibn Kay. Where is Zuhair ibn Kay? And Imam al Hussein says, He has also been martyred. But then Imam al Sajjad says, Aina, Aina, Abu al I I Abu al Fadl Abbas. Where is my uncle Abu al Fadl Abbas? Hussein says, "Qad Qutil." But he has also been martyred in the Nehr of Furat, in the river of Furat. Now Imam Sajjad says, "I know, I know, when he says, Aida, Aida, Ali, Yulil Akbar, Imam Hussein is not able to reply. He bows his head and he starts to cry profusely. <laughs> Imam starts to cry and he says, Oh Sajjad, do not ask any further. For amongst the men, only you have survived and only I have survived. When Imam says this to Imam Sajjad, Imam Sajjad says to Bibi Zainab, Oh Aunt Zainab, give me my sword and give me a stick. For I would like and go and help my father. Father Abba Abdullah, I would like and go and help my father. And Imam Hussein says to Imam Sajjad, Oh, my son Sajjad, your test is going to be far more difficult than my test. You are not to go and sacrifice yourself, for your test is more difficult than mine. They will shackle you in chains. They will put a real a talk around your neck. They will handcuff you. And oh, Sajjad, they will drag you in the bazaar of Sham. They will tie a rope around 
your neck. They will drag you in the bazaar of Sham the way they drag an animal that are take, they are taking to slaughter. You have to do sabr or sajjad. This is now for you. Your sacrifice will start after mine. Imam al-Sajjad starts to weep and he starts to cry. Azadaro. Now, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, he now mounts his horse. He's going towards the battlefield. As he's going towards the battlefield, the horse takes a few steps. <laughs> The horse takes a few steps, Zuljana takes a few steps, but then he stops. He doesn't go any forward. Imam is trying to urge Zuljana to go towards the Maqtal, to go towards the Maidan of Karbala. Zuljana is not moving. Imam al Hussein says to Zuljana, Zuljana, I know you are very tired. <laughs> I know you are very tired, for I know from morning to evening you have taken one person after the other uh, to the Maidan of Karbala. Oh, Zuljana, I promise you this is the last time that you are going to go to the Karbala of Maidan of Karbala. Why don't you take me to the Maidan of Karbala? And the horse, he bends his head down. He too, as if he is signing towards his feet. Imam al Hussein looks towards the feet of Zuljana and he sees that the Sakina, the daughter of Hussein. She has embraced the legs of Zuljana. She is saying, oh Zuljana, do not take my father in that direction. For I have seen since morning that whomsoever has gone in that direction, they have not returned. My uncle Abbas had promised me that he would get some water. But when he went in that direction, he did not return back. Zuljana and I leave my father. Hussein. Imam al Hussein looks at Sakina. He now dismounts from the horse. He comes down onto the fields of Karbala. He says to Sakina, Oh, Sakina, I have to leave. I have to sacrifice myself. Without my sacrifice, Islam will not be saved. Imam al Hussein says this to Sakina. And Sakina replies, he, She says, Oh, my father. Do you not know that Sakina cannot sleep at night? <laughs> Sakina cannot sleep at night unless she has the, father, the chest of her father. Oh, my father, if you go into the fields of Karbala, if you sacrifice yourself, who will Saki, who will, whose chest will Sakina sleep in at that time? Imam al Hussein says to Sakina, Oh Sakina, come close to me. The historians write, as Sakina comes close to Abba Abdullah. Now Abba Abdullah lies on the burning fields of Karbala and he says to Sakina, Sakina, for the last time, now sleep on the chest of your father, for you will not to get the opportunity to sleep on the chest of your father anymore. <laughs> Hussain. جب زلجنا رک جاتا ہے زلجنا نے جب اپنے اپنے پیر کی طرف نشانہ کیا ہے سکینہ نے ایک مرتبہ زلجنا سے کہا کہ میرے بابا کو نہ لے جاؤ میرے بابا کو میدان کی طرف نہ لے جاؤ ازاداروں جمام الحسین زمین کربلا پہ لیٹ جاتے ہیں ایک مرتبہ سکینہ کو کہتے ہیں بیٹی آخری بار اپنے بابا کے سینے پہ سو جا واپس آپ کو یہ موقع نہیں ملے گا مورک لکھتے ہیں کہ سکینہ کربلا میں بابا حسین کے سینے پہ ایک مرتبہ سو جاتی ہے جب سکینہ سوئی ہے ایک مرتبہ حسین نے سکینہ کو اٹھایا جناب زینب کے سپرد کیا اب حسین گھوڑے پہ سوار ہوئے اب کربلا کے میدان کی طرف جا رہے ہیں
यजीद से किसी यजीद की किसी फौज की मजाल नहीं थी कि वो हुसैन को आके अकेले में उसके साथ मुकाबला कर सके हुसैन ने इन लईनों से कहा कि लईन तुम्हें खबर है मैं कौन हूँ क्या तुम्हें खबर है मैं कौन हूँ मैं रसूल का नवासा हूँ मैं फातिमत जहरा का बेटा हूँ मैं अलीजा का बेटा हूँ हुसैन ने अपना तारुफ किया और लईनों को कहा कि अभी भी मौका है अगर निजात चाहते हो तो नवासे रसूल को शहीद आजादारा ने हुसैन लब आजादारों इन फौजों ने हुसैन को घेर लिया फौजों ने हुसैन को घेर लिया तीरों की बारिश हुई तीरों की बरसात हुई एक मैं आपको एक मसायब कहना चाहता हूँ दिलों पे हाथ रखे सुनना आजादारों जब मुख्तार के दरबार में मुख्तार के दरबार में हरमला आया है हरमला हुसैन घोड़े पे सवार है तीरों की बारिश हो रही है मुख्तार जब मुख्तार के दरबार में जब हरमला आया है तो मुख्तार ने हरमला से पूछा कि हरमला तुमने कौन सी चीज़ें की थी शायद आशूर के दिन आशूर के दिन तुमने कौन सी वो चीज़ें की थी मुरमला कहता है मुख्तार से मुख्तार मैंने तीन चीज़ें की है तीन चीज़ें की है जिसकी वजह से मैं जानता हूँ कि मैं जहन्नम में जाने वाला हूँ अब मुख्तार पूछता है कि वो तीन चीज़ें कौन सी है जो तुमने की है अब मुहरमला कहता है कि पहली वो चीज़ है कि जब अबुल फजल अब्बास नहर फुरात से पानी लेके वापस कई बगा आ रहे थे तो मुरमला कहता है मैंने दो तीर का वार किया है एक तीर अब्बास की मश्क में पेवस्त हुआ एक तीर अब्बास की आँख में पेवस्त हुआ मश्क से पानी बहने लगा आग से खून बहने लगा मुख्तार अब रो रहा है दूसरी कौन सी चीज है अब हरमला कहता है दूसरी वो चीज है कि जब अब अब्दुल्ला छ महीने के शशमा को आए लेके आए थे पानी मांगने आए थे तब उमर साद ने मुझे कहा था कि एक था कलाम हुसैन मुख्तार मैंने एक तीर का वार किया है जो छ महीने के शशमा के गर्दन में पेवस्त हुआ और अली असगर को एक कान से दूसरे कान तक जबह कर दिया अब मुख्तार रो रहा है कहता है हरमला तीसरी चीज कौन सी है तीसरी चीज हरमला कहता है कि बहुत ही कठिन है बहुत ही कठिन है जो तीसरी चीज मैंने की वो कौन सी चीज है हरमला कहता है आखिरी वक्त जब अबा अब्दुल्ला अपने घोड़े पे <laughs> जब अब अब्दुल्ला अपने घोड़े पे थे और घोड़े पे थे तीरों की बारिश हो रही थी तब मैंने वो तीर का वार किया है वो तीर का वार किया है जो नवास रसूल की पेशानी मुबारक पे पेदारान हुसैन तीरों की बरसात हुई जख्मी के चूर किसी ने मौला के सर पर तलवार का वार किया अब जुलझना को ऐसा लगा कि मेरा आका डगमगा रहा है जुलझना को लगा कि मेरा आका डगमगा रहा है एक मरतबा नशेब की तरफ आ गया नशेब की तरफ आ गया घोड़ा नशेब की तरफ आ गया जनाब जैनब को अब हुसैन नजर नहीं आ रहे जनाब जैनब को हुसैन नजर नहीं आ रहे एक मरतबा जनाब जैनब तिल जैनबिया पे गई ताकि उसको दे वो देख सके कि हुसैन कहाँ है घोड़ा नशेब की तरफ आया जनाब जैनब तिल जैनबिया पे आ गई एक मरतबा देखती है कि मेरा माँ जाया कहाँ है आजादारो हुसैन ने जब एक मरतबा जैनब को तिल जैनबिया पे देखा जनाब इमाम हुसैन ने जैनब को कहा जैनब हुसैन अभी जिंदा है वापस खाई मेरे चल 
حسین ابھی زندہ ہے واپس خیمے میں چلی جاؤ ازادارو زینب واپس خیمے میں چلی گئی ازادارو ایک مرتبہ کسی نے حسین کے سینے پہ وار کیا جب کسی نے حسین کے سینے پہ وار کیا مولا گھوڑے سے زمین پہ آئے لیکن ازادارو مورخ لکھتے ہیں کہ حسین گھوڑے سے زمین میں تو آئے ہیں گھوڑے سے زمین میں گرے لیکن حسین کا جسم جو ہے حسین کا جسم زمین پہ نہیں آیا حسین گھوڑے سے زمین پہ گرے لیکن حسین کا جسم زمین پہ نہیں آیا مورخ لکھتے ہیں کہ حسین کے بدن میں اتنے تیر پہ وسط تھے کہ حسین گھوڑے سے زمین پہ گرے لیکن حسین کا جسم زمین کے اوپر تڑ پڑا ہے ازادارو اب ایک مرتبہ جب حسین گھوڑے سے گرے ہیں زمین پہ زلجنان شیب کو چھوڑ کے خیمہ گاہ کی طرف دورا جب زلجنان خیمہ گاہ کی طرف دورا یہاں زلجنان خیمہ گاہ کی طرف دورا وہاں شمر آگے برتا ہے یہاں خلزل جنا دورا وہاں شمر آگے مرتا ہے ازاداران حسین جب زل جنا خیمہ گاہ پہ آیا ہے تو ایک مرتبہ سکینہ نے خیمے کو چھوڑ دیا کہتی ہے زل جنا میرا بابا کا میرا بابا کہا ہے زینب نے خیمہ چھوڑ دیا زلجنا میرا ماں جایا حسین کہاں ہے ازاداروں وہاں شمر آیا ہے یہاں گھوڑا خیمہ کا آیا ہے ازاداروں یا اللہ یا اللہ شمر آگے آتا ہے پھر میں نہیں جاتا میں میں نہیں جانتا کہ میں یہ پڑھ سکوں گا یا نہیں یا میں نہیں جانتا کہ یہ آپ سن سکو گے یا نہیں ازاداروں علامہ مجلسی لکھتے ہیں علامہ مجلسی لکھتے ہیں کہ شمر سے جب پوچھا گیا مختار کے دربار میں اللہ اکبر شمر سے مختار کے دربار میں مختار نے پوچھا کہ اے شمر تو نے حسین کا سر کیا اسے قلب کی شمر سے پوچھا گیا کہ شمر تم نے حسین کا سر کیسے کلم کیا بس یہ سوال کرنا تھا شمر کہتا ہے مختار میں نے حسین کا سر بہت ہی مشکل سے کلم کیا ہے بہت ہی مشکل سے کلم کیا مختار پوچھتا ہے شمر مجھے یہ علامہ مجلی سے لکھتا ہے مختار پوچھتا ہے کہ شمر تم نے کیسے کلم کیا میں سننا چاہتے ہو شمر کہتا ہے تم نہیں سن سکو گے مختار نے اسرار کیا نہیں شمر میں سننا چاہتا ہوں کہ تم نے حسین کا سر کیا اسے کلم کیا اب شمر کہتا ہے مختار میں نے بڑی مشکل سے حسین کا سر کلم کیا اب شمر کہتا ہے مختار میں جب بھی خنجر چلانے جاتا تھا میں جب بھی میں جب بھی حسین کی گردن پہ خنجر چلانے جاتا تھا تو کسی بی بی کے دو ہاتھ میں میرے خنجر اور حسین کی گردن کے بیچ آ جاتے ہیں شبر کہتا ہے میں جب بھی خنجر چلانے جاتا تھا تو کسی بی بی کے ہاتھ میرے خنجر اور حسین کے بیچ آ جاتے تھے اور میں یہ صدا سنتی تھی اے شبر میرے بیٹے حسین کو نمہ یہ ماں فاطمہ زہرہ کے ہاتھ تھے جو خنجر اور شبر کے خنجر اور حسین کی گردن کے بیچ آ جاتے تھے شبر میرے حسین کو قتل نہ کر ازاداروں 
یہاں حسین کی شہادت ہوتی ہے وہاں جبرائیل زمین پہ آتے ہیں ایک مرتبہ جبرائیل نے صدا دی علاقت قتلل حسین بی کربلا علاقت زبحل حسین بی کربلا جب یہ آواز خیمگاہ میں گنجی ہے زینب نے جبرائیل کی آواز سنی خیمگاہ میں زینب نے خیمہ چھوڑ دیا ایک مرتبہ سجاد کے پاس آتے ہیں کہتی ہے بیٹا سجاد میں بنائی مجھے نہیں پتا کہ بابا کہاں ہے مجھے بابا نظر نہیں آتے بابا کہاں ہے سجاد نے ایک مرتبہ زینب سے کہا پھپی اممہ پھپی اممہ ایک مرتبہ خیمے کے پردے کو ہٹاؤ زینب نے سجاد کے خیمے کے پردے کو ہٹایا ایک مرتبہ سجاد نے آگے دیکھا حسین نظر نہیں آئے دائیں طرف دیکھا حسین نظر نہیں آئے بائیں طرف دیکھا حسین نظر نہیں آئے ایک مرتبہ سجاد نے آسمان کی طرف دیکھا جب آسمان کی طرف دیکھا تو حسین کا سر نوکے نیزے پہ نظر آیا جب نوکے نیزے پہ نظر آیا ہے ایک مرتبہ سجاد نے کہا السلام علیکہ یا بچہ السلام علیکہ یا بابا عبداللہ ہائے میرا بابا حسین زمین کربلا میں شہید ہو گیا سجاد تڑپ گیا زینب نے دیکھا حسین کا سر نوکے نیزے پہ ہے السلام علیکہ یا ابا عبداللہ کی صدا خیمگاہ میں گنجی یا حسین یا حسین یا حسین یا حسین یا حسین سکینہ بھی